Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you're doing well today. If you are new around these parts, be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Today we have got in some new equipment and some new gear. We're gonna unbox that here on the channel. We've got some fun stuff that I wanna show you that we're gonna be using for security and for power management. And some of this stuff we'll do some future videos on, but I wanted to give you an idea on what we got and how we're gonna be using this stuff. All right, first up, I wanna to talk to you about some of these products that I've actually already unboxed over here. And we will start with these Wise Cams that just came in. So this is a camera system that I have used in the shed, around the shed for security purposes. And honestly, I use this throughout my house as well outside of the mining farm. But this has been phenomenal for me because it's a very low cost camera. You can get the version twos for $25. And as a matter of fact, let me show you, I've had one version two that I use for monitoring here in the shed. And it's got this magnetic base. If you watch my best accessories video, that I put out, gosh, maybe that was like a year ago, I was using these cameras to monitor each of my rigs. So I had one wise camera on each of my rigs. And the idea is not just for people that are breaking in and maybe stealing a lot of important stuff, but you know, even just if something goes wrong and you suspect that maybe a kid was involved in the house, if you've got a rig set up in the garage or someplace where a family member can get to, it's really helpful just to identify exactly what had happened and review you know that footage on these cameras or maybe what didn't happen and maybe it's just a problem with the rig I, I feel like I have to repeat this all the time guys but this is not sponsored by wise or anything like that I just love these cameras these I am connecting up via power only and then they Wi-Fi connect back into the network and give me access to everything that I need now this one is their newest also in the lineup they're first in the ruggedized set of devices. And when I say ruggedized, maybe that's not the best description. It's more of weatherproof. So I can set this outside, which is what I've been doing. I've been setting it over in a tree and pointing it at the shed. And they've used some new technologies. So I don't have to charge this, but about every three months. And I can set it out in the tree, the tree house, in the yard, wherever I want to mount it and I get coverage where I need it. And it's set out in freezing temperatures so far. It's been out in the rain and it's worked really, really well. So I'll leave the model numbers for all of these in the description, but I've been very happy with these so far. Up next, this one is the Emporia View Energy Monitor. Now, some of you have been experimenting with the Sense Energy Monitoring System, and I've actually been really interested in since for a couple of years now. I've wanted to install it in the house. I definitely wanted to put it in the shed and I just hadn't gotten around to it. And actually when I went to make a purchase for since I saw this advertised. This is a less cost alternative, very well reviewed. It's potentially got a couple hiccups, but in a future video, I will install this here in the shed. And the idea is this will go in the breaker box over here and we will be able to monitor all of the circuits. So we've got multiple 220 volt circuits here in the shed. We've got a couple 110s that are in here that are mounted throughout over here. So we'll be able to monitor all of those for a total of 200 amps here in the shed, be able to get an idea of our energy consumption throughout but we'll do a standalone video on that and I'll let you know how that goes. And down here, we've got a couple fun surprises for you. And I know what this box is, but honestly, I got these in not too long ago and I don't remember what's what exactly. So let me open these up. We'll take a look and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I cut the first box open and what we have here is a 450 watt bronze EVGA ATX power supply and I remember ordering this now actually I got a heads up from altered components in discord that there was reasonable pricing on these power supplies and what's reasonable I think I got this for about $39 
And the idea when you purchase these bronze power supplies is that you're using this to power just the motherboard, just the processor, and that you're using a server power supply or something else, platinum grade and above, to run the rest of the system. So this is one of those backup components that I'll have for a future build right here. So I'm glad I got that in and glad, you know, the whole, in my opinion, the way you run your farm, the way you run your enthusiast mining system, if you don't want to spend too much, is keep an eye out for the deals. And when you see the bargains, pick up the components that you need, either for backup parts or for future builds. And that way, once it comes time to build, you've already got the parts on hand and you're ready to go. For the next box, I went ahead and opened this up. And this is an EVGA set of power supply cables. And this should be pretty neat looking. I was, if you watch the EVGA RMA video that I did, you'll note in there that I did have one power supply with no power cables. And what I needed to do was get some replacements. I suspect that one of the problems I've been having was a bad power cable going from the ATX power supply into the motherboard. So every time I tried to use that 1200 watt EVGA platinum power supply, I was having issues. So just to troubleshoot that, and frankly, just to have some extra cables, I went ahead and ordered this cable set. I think I picked it up for about 80 or $90. Okay, so here we go. I opened up some of these and you can see right here, it's a complete set of replacement cables. And then the last package we've got is the fun one. I actually had to sign for this one. This is one I got off of Newegg. And yeah, I finally, guys, I finally got a 3070 into the mining farm here. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this unboxed and I have to decide what I'm gonna do with this to get it into the mining farm. I think for now, this is currently the only 3070 that I have. And I think what I'm gonna do, if you've watched previous videos, you know I've been testing the 3060 Ti's on my solo mining rig up here it started out with just a single 3060 ti the nvidia then we moved on to the evga i think temporarily i'm going to throw this 3070 on beside it here and one it'll just get it up and running right away and two it'll give me an idea of how it compares to these 3060s which as i understand it from watching from some other benchmarks it's going to be very comparable but honestly, almost anything that you can get right now at retail pricing or MSRP is something that you might want to pick up. So along with that, I got this bundle, which included the Gigabyte 750 Gold. I'm an EVGA shop, if you will, on power supplies. So it creates a little bit of a problem, but nothing major there. So my plan is I'm going to get this up just to get it mining. I'm going to put it in the solo rig and then... I'll do a follow-up video on this. I'll do some testing on Windows as well. We'll take a look at some of the hash rates you all wanna see, maybe some of those that aren't heavily covered on YouTube out there. Uh, so let me know if there's anything you want me to test on this. All right, so I'm just getting this thing opened up and I'm not gonna do my traditional unboxing celebration, but I do want you to see what it looks like out of the box here. We've got the GPU. We've got this pretty cool little badge. I'll probably stick that on one of the mining rigs. There we go. So we got two eight pins and look at that. Display ports and HDMI. It's pretty impressive right there. All right, Raptors, we got everything up and running here. We've got this uh, 3070 running, check this out. That display. That's uh, it's pretty neat looking. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of experimenting with this and learn a little bit more about it and see. I think you can display temperature or wattage or something like that. I think it's temperature on that display, but I'll have to, like I said, learn a little bit more about that. Now I'll give a little bit more detailed hash rate testing in an upcoming video. I'll show you everything measured out at the wall, but Right here, I did want to show you. So the 3070 is running at 63.1 mega hash, 55 degrees Celsius, fan speed 63%. I probably should lock that down. And I did have to bump up the wattage. I have the overclock exactly the same as I do on my 3060 Ti, which is a bit aggressive. A lot of folks run this at negative 500 and 2350 or 2400 on the memory. On the 3070, if I ran it at 120 watts at the GPU, 
So at the GPU, at the driver, at 120 watts, I was getting about 60 mega hash. It was, it was dropping and maybe even down into the 50s. So I had to bump it up to 130, and then I tried it at 140, and we got it up above the 3060 Ti. And like I said, we'll test this out later. I'll pull up my Tekken Wi-Fi switch and see what this is doing at the wall. But for now, for this just first down and dirty, out of the box hash rate testing that I know everyone kind of wanted to take a look at just to see what it was doing. Uh, this is at 140 watts the driver, and then that's gonna probably put it around 155 or 160 watts at the wall if you count the riser and if you count the fan and the breakout board and powering the power supply, which I think takes about two to four watts, something like that at lower wattages, and then it ramps up the higher that you go. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. I honestly was thinking it would be exactly the same as the 3060 Ti. But getting above 63, I we'll leave this running. We'll see if it stays stable. Let me do a let me do a refresh here and just make sure we still have all accepted shares. Yeah, okay, we're at 35 accepted shares. So I'll leave this running overnight. All right, so that'll wrap things up for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.